How happy are you as a couple? Eight. Wait. Ten being perfectly happy and one being totally miserable, or...? Just respond instinctively. Okay. Ready? Ready. Eight. Eight. <laughs> How often do you have sex? That's Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie wow. in Mr. and Mrs. Smith rating their marriage, and it turns out that that's not such a bad deal. Yeah, giving your marriage a numerical score can actually benefit your relationship. And here with the questions you should be asking to see how yours stacks up is Elizabeth Bernstein, who recently wrote about the topic for the Wall Street Journal. She's here with psychotherapist, excuse us, M. Gary Newman, <laughs> the creator of the Newman Method, Creating Your Best Marriage. Nice to see you guys back. Thank Thanks you for being Fascinating article. So how do couples go about rating their relationship? So it's interesting. I talked to relationship researchers, clinicians, and they said that this would be a very good tool for people to use at home. You want to know what is wrong in your marriage, and, and you, you basically can't fix something unless you know what's wrong, but you also want to know what's good. So you go about asking yourself what different areas of a marriage are important. All right, so these are the three things that you say that couple should rate themselves on. These are interesting. Okay, here's the first one. My partner doesn't keep any big secrets from me. The second is my partner and I share everyday news and experiences with each other. And the third is our bodies respond when we see each other. That's those, it? Those are the three. <laughs> That's all you need. <laughs> That's all you need. But you no, said something week. interesting early on, though, that you, that you know when something's wrong, and, but, uh, but you don't know what it is. You don't know I, what it is. How can that be? You <laughs> live with this person. You know when your sex life isn't good, right? right you right. know when he Remember, makes you angry or people, she... People genders are different. So people very often are satisfied with different parts of life and okay. different things are important to them. I mean, the, the crucial part about scoring is that healthy marriages always work as a team to find out how we can make things better. It's a misnomer to think, oh, we have to wait till something's wrong right. and then let's um, fix it. The healthy couples, they look at the problem as the enemy. But they and know they what say, the problem is, is my point, right? Well, but you don't know until you sit and yeah. say regularly, once a year, whatever, how are we doing? Are we together making our needs met and known? And how can we work together as a team to make them better? And, and what is good, too? Not just what is bad in the right. marriage, but what is good. Yeah, You'll find sure. out what's good. So there are certain specific areas, I guess, that couples have to really see eye to eye, because some of these other things may matter more to the husband than the wife, and the, one may see it as a big problem, the other may see it as a big yawn. Right, but I, I help people not to get worried about the scores being different, because that's what makes men and women different, and we yeah. learn from each other. So sex, communication, those things might be different. We say to each other, how do we work this out? You see, most couples, they talk about their marriage in negative rants. Right. You know, when we're angry, you never do this. And yeah. you know, instead of coming and saying, listen, our love is so important, I want to know what can we both do, what do we need to make it better? Let's talk about how we can both work together to make it best. Shouldn't these conversations be had before you get married also? That would be a great idea. I mean, what about, you know, we always have marital counseling for people that are in trouble, but I think it's an awfully good idea to get a little bit before you go into this because thing, what your expectations are, you know? Mm -hmm. Exactly, because often people go too late to marriage. Yeah. Yeah. And some people think when they do go early, though, they say, well, gosh, you, you already have issues that you're already discussing things before you even get started. Yeah. I don't think that if you discuss it, that means you have a problem. Mm -hmm. That's what the healthy couples do. They're always saying, I've had people come to, to my talks, 60 years they're married, and they said, we're always working and always learning. Every couple who's long-term married, they're still looking around the corner. What can we learn new? How yeah. can we still have fun? It's constant. What if one person, one part of the couple thinks the marriage is just fine, sure. and the other one is the one who thinks, you know, Clueless they're not lining up? Yeah. Right. I, so, I talked to a lot of therapists about that, and they said that is a big problem. You could tell me, because you've got one person who is mentally checked out and one person in so denial, and they're not. Um, they said those kinds of marriages need some help, some professional help. Yeah. Probably can't do it. Right, anymore. and that's, that's the nice thing about scoring. You know, sometimes when you take a questionnaire, instead of saying, how's your marriage doing? It's okay. Yeah. Well, when you say it's, well, it's a four or a three, you say, oh, it's not so okay. And then you get a book, a DVD, you go to a therapist, you do something active. Most people come to me way too late. Mm -hmm. That's well, the issue. Well, most they're honeymooners would say they're, they, they rate it a 10. Right? Right, Everything's great. You're in that blissful. Yeah. But long-term marriages, and then I think of some like our wounded warriors, they come back. And maybe they're not, they're not able to perform sexually mm -hmm. or something. But sure. something happens, a dynamic between the wife and the husband that is it a sexless marriage in a sense, mm -hmm. but it's a deeper, richer love affair in sure. many ways. When, sure. when, yeah. Well, think about the, the difference. When you say premarital counseling, that's an excellent idea. But nobody is prepared 
prepared for children. No right. one's prepared for the for issues illness that come and for the thing, illness, yes, for yes, death. Right, right. That's why you have to, you got to keep checking it out. Okay. I, I tell people a month before your anniversary, score your marriage. Okay. Not the night before, please. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I was a month oh, before. Right. Okay. And work at it so you hit that anniversary. Thanks, both of you. We could talk about that for a whole hour. Thanks so much.